Yo, man's live on the scene. Now what? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat, and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Yo, hold on. A flip phone, cuz. <laughs> what is this, 2003? It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on S-I-R-S, -S, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. All right, let's chat, but no promises. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. What's going on? Bagley, Sabine, someone talk to me, come on. All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS... The Signal's Intelligence Response Service uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. Shit, I'll make you peace! Oh my days. Hey, contacts ghosted. Looks like he got fucked up first, too. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. Cool, I'll see what I can do.
That's done it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. That appears to be our contact. Fucking fuck! Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. The reconstruction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Contact assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Fucking Albion. Not sirs, huh? Are you serious? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. You got anything actually fucking useful, Max? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Let's see it. I'm not who you think I am. You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. That's, that's not me. I swear to God, please, please. Oh, they're going to murder that guy if man don't stop them. Bagley, give me a map quick.
searching. Where are you hiding? Drone, begin Clear. search. Heading out. Nothing here. Redirecting. <laughs> We're all clear over here. Suspect is still here. Clear. Area clear. Moving on. We've got a handle here. Area here. clear, moving on. Moving elsewhere. Clear, moving on. Moving no on. one's here. Easy, bruv. I'm with DedSec. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. The fuck? We just saved you! No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. Fuck that! You explain everything! My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. Let's see what Bags is saying. I better not regret this, you know. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. This guy's up his own ass, bruv. But he might be onto something with all this. All right, one second. Okay, Bagley, check his intel, then organize a briefing. Attendance mandatory. Right, self-driving. Look, just to be on the 
safe side, I think we should walk away from this. Nah, man. We have to help him. May I present a third option? Just use him. An SRS whistleblower, even one you don't... And trust could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Good call. Fine. I'm here. Are you ready to begin? Here's the gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... Yeah, we get it. Kill the head, and then the body will die. But why are you here now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet block depot. But it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the comm to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Sabine, is this because of us, like, for real? Is Zero Day really doing this because we stepped to him? Cut that victim-flaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face.
Yo, man's live on the scene. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. Spy's about to get spied on, cuzzy. Wait, how do we get that off? SIRS uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Fucking fuck! You could be horrified if you want, but it saved thousands of lives. Get access to a filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms. So this is Filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail, unless of course Malik has an idea. There. I've persuaded Filament's security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. Such a helpful little spy. Weren't these your friends until, like, 30 seconds ago? It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils, like DedSec, to protect society from the greater ones. 
So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are differing schools of thought. I've got those spy dossiers. Yes, smashed it. I've got that search stuff you wanted. Right, so we do a simple CTOS contact analysis and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. I'll have it done before you can say Guantanamo. I'll handle the classified data, thank you very much. It would be so much faster if I worked with you in order to do this. The people in these dossiers are connected, but not necessarily complicit. It will take intelligence expertise to separate the wheat from the chaff. And when I discover something actionable, I will contact you. He's disconnected. Pleasant fella. I have Malik for you. Okay, put him through. We have to meet. There's been a complication. I can't access the files you stole. Wait, what? The files are locked, and a moment after we got them, I received this. Oh. 
Hello, Richard. We see you're trying to find us by looking into our associates. That's a good idea. Hope you don't mind if we borrow it. Who was your masked savior, we wonder? I've sent Bagley the coordinates for a meeting. I hope I don't need to explain why this is a priority. No, don't get up. I need a high-ranking SIRS officer's biometrics, eyes and fingers. Seriously? You want the crown jewels while I'm at it? Keep your voice down. The data was encrypted. And we have Bagley. He can crack it. Not faster than I could, and I've tried. It's hopeless in the time we have. Look, if you don't help me, Zero Day wins. Which means we all die. But if fine. So find the right fingers and snip snip. No. High res photos will do. The problem is it has to be the acting home office liaison. And sirs will burn their credentials if they're attacked. It's protocol. So you'll have to get them the old fashioned way. Like torture? Christ, no. Develop a relationship. Get someone close and uh, 
take the photos covertly. Okay, I got this. This part of the craft can be ugly. Send someone who can handle it. Bags, help me out, yeah? I suggest you begin your relationship with the SIRS Home Office liaison the way you would with anyone, by meticulously poring over every detail of their life and hunting them down. Go on. The SIRS Home Office liaison is the bridge between the government and its intelligence service. Their office at Downing Street would be a good place to start your relationship. Balls in our court. Let's go. Focus on this thing. I want to go home. Well, hey. there's a potential recruit you may want to check out. Pushing your location. SIRS Home Office liaison works here, but I'm not seeing them on any unsecured surveillance. Ah, but their assistants here. Start by hacking them. Right, okay. of suspects over halt failure to comply will result in forceful intervention surrender yourself failure to comply target is long gone disengage measures. over and out warning continuing unlawful activity will result in arrest download complete now scarper or they'll kill you for sure Got it. 16 email threads indicate the Home Office liaison is a right lush. She spends most of her time down at the Three Hawker Boys. If you want to seduce, sorry, start a relationship with her, that's as good a place as any. Send me the coordinates. Done.
Where did you go? Sir. Wow, you look like an ad for a fancy watch. Uh, yeah, that was much more flattering in my head. Ooh, if that's how you treat a one-liner, I shudder to think of what you do with two. Goodbye. Pretty harsh. Jeez. So, are you actually mean or just stressed out? Oh, I'm in a great mood, actually. It's just that I'm wasting my scant leisure time fending off the advances of a haggard swamp creature. Fuck you. Not even in your wildest dreams, sweetie. I'm still learning the nuances of human interaction, but my analysis indicates that you aren't her type. Thanks, Bagley. You can shut up now. Quit your whining. There's plenty of fish in the sea. We've got the biggest saltwater aquarium in town. At least one of our fish is bound to be fuckable. Go on. Just try someone else. Maybe a woman this time. The more badasses, the merrier, right? Yeah, this is gonna be real. Let's do it. Hell yes. It's a killer drone! Hey, did we match an invite? Or did I just dream it? <laughs> if we didn't, I'm going to have their CEO killed. Oh, no, don't do that. I just couldn't think of anything else to say. Ah, careful who you fib to. Someone almost died. <laughs> Wouldn't want that. I should say. Shall we move this conversation somewhere a bit more... private? Oh, my. Didn't know you could do that. <laughs> what other secrets are you hiding? Just give me a sector under the loo and I'll show you. <laughs> So after all that, did you acquire the biometric data? Yeah, easy. And then I said I had to go to the loo and snuck out through the utility space in the ceiling. <laughs> well done. What now? It seems you'll have to maintain the ruse a bit longer. The upload is still going and I have an incoming connection from the liaison. Open the line. Enough crap. Who the hell are you? You working for the Russians? China? Fucking America? Uh, hey, this is actually a new phone. Who is this? Oh, do shut up. Upload complete. Malik is on the line. I'm sure he'll be very grateful and polite. This will have to do. We can meet at Westminster Abbey to discuss the results. And I wanted to say... You performed somewhat better than anticipated. 
Hey, that was sort of a compliment. He's disconnected. Are you kidding me? All citizens are subject to searches of their person and belongings. Failure to comply with searches will be met with force. I've marked the meeting location on your map. Don't hurry. Thanks, Bags. arrived at Westminster Abbey, final resting place of noted cousin fucker King Edward I. Do you think that's relevant, Bagley? It is if you're his cousin. Anyway, have a seat. I'll notify Malik you've arrived. to walk away. I haven't slept in 76 hours. I, I can't do this. You're just tired. No, I'm afraid. I know who runs Zero Day and I don't think I can beat her. You don't have to. Give me a name. <sighs> Not actually asking. All right. I'm trusting you with this. My analysis indicates that Zero Day is led by the current director of SIRS Counterterrorism, Emma Child. Legend has it she's the reason that Gorbachev survived the coup in 91, but more than that, she's my friend. She mentored me through my first field assignment years ago. See, that wasn't so hard. Wait, wait. There's always a margin of error. If you go after Emma and I'm wrong, You'll have her and Zero Day to contend with. Confirm it's her before you do anything. We'll be careful. Be right. Or we'll both be dead. I hate to agree with a career snoop, but Malik's right. We need to tread carefully here. This is the head of size fucking counterterrorism we're moving against. Wait, wait. We don't have enough on Emma Child to make that move. Not yet. Okay, I can live with that. So how do we find her? Those dossiers we stole? If we can figure out who reports directly to Child, for sure they are communicating with her. Bagley? Done. Oh, aren't you clever? But we can't just wait around for them to slip up and blab Emma Child's location. We have to make them slip up and call a meeting with her. So we do something big, something old school dead set. Really scare the shit out of them. 
Emma Child is the head of SIRS Counter-Terror, which coordinates operations with Albion out of the old MI6 building. So, if we were to break in and leave a message that we know will get back to her... Yeah, I tuned that out. But I'm up for whatever. MI6 building, one of the most prominent intelligence organizations in the world. But now, thanks to SIRS taking over, the dark heart of every secret scheme and bloody coup in the whole of Europe. So, no huge difference, really. All right. This is cool. This is fun. I can do this. Bagley, don't scare her. You just have to find the central server room and connect us. We'll do the rest. You've got this. That's new. That's the case file server there. Connect badly and we'll take care of it. Noted. This is bull. Quick mission update. But you have to promise not to be mad. What? No. What is it? Well, since you didn't promise, I can't give you the details, but suffice to say, there's an absolute piss monsoon of Albion goons heading your way. Where's the 
Voila! Holy shit. I'm just glad we're on the same side. Good job. Now get to safety. We'll contact you when we have an update. Look at that. Your plan worked. There's more buzz coming from Emma Child's organization than a nest of randy wasps. Wow. That was quick. Well, I may have sent everyone in Child's inner circle security footage of your little MI6. It's operation. Just to speed things up a bit. Is that safe? No, not really. But then you're a violent insurgent who runs around in a colorful mask punching mercenaries, stealing top secret intelligence and driving through street cafes. Define safe. Yeah, okay. Good point. So what's next? A small group is meeting with Emma Child in a parking garage. They've switched off the CCTV cameras, but if you connect me to the building CTOS hub, I can switch them back on, because I'm very clever. Bulls in our court. Let's go. Reminder, this is the parking garage where Emma Child is meeting with her inner circle. Malik has asked that you confirm she really is in charge of Zero Day before we do anything. So try and hack the camera system to see if we can get a look at that meeting.
Hold it! You brute! Let's take him down! It's too much of a coincidence. He slips away and our case server gets hit. Richard Malik is behind this. I've got Whitworth assets on standby, Mrs. Child. Malik is dead the moment he surfaces. What do you mean, the moment he surfaces? Are you telling me we have nothing? Yes, ma'am. For lack of a better word, he's vanished. Hasn't been at work, hasn't been at home, hasn't bought anything with a card. Of course he hasn't. He's not a moron. He knows our tools. We can't rely on filament. We have to use our fucking eyes and ears. He may have left London. Perhaps he's hiding out in the country. <laughs> this is why all these excuses smell like horseshit. We do have a supporting theory, Mum. We think Malik's been in contact with DedSec. It could be they're hiding him. He's treating London like enemy territory. He's made contact with the local insurgency and got them working with him. So, here's what we're gonna do. Reallocate all resources to the DedSec file. If we shake that tree long enough, Malik's bound to fall out. Do your fucking jobs. Get out there and kill some terrorists. Nice. This look is an improvement for you. Nice. It's not enough to just do good. Girls gotta look good too. Bags, get Malik on the line. He's not answering. Sweet. Then I'm moving in. Shit, you're right. Go. This might be our only chance. Emma Char just opened a secure... Optic link to the Home Secretary. If you really want to clear your names for the bombings, this may be your chance to gather the evidence. Get close to the car and I can hack in. Plugging you into Emma Child's com. Try to drive casually. This is Director Child coding in. Kilo Alpha Kilo 711. Code and voice printing confirmed. You're on a secure line to the Home Office, Director. Hold on, Mr. Secretary. I seem to have a communications anomaly. Probably nothing, but let's switch channels to be safe. 
Well, that's annoying. Stay close and I'll see if I can get them back. We're reallocating resources to the DedSec file. Mr. Secretary, I wanted to bring this up directly because of the recent incident with your liaison to the service. Oh. Oh, God. You think that was DedSec? I thought we'd chalk that up to your problem, child, but, uh, well, Malik, was it? Yes. That's the sensitive bit, Mr. Secretary. There's new evidence that suggests Malik may be working with DedSec. For fuck's sake, Emma, this is a disaster. It's under control. It, shit, sorry, Tom, but we have to switch channels again. One moment. Ooh, it seems this conspiracy goes all the way to the top. Or close to it, anyway. Stay nearby, we've almost got it. Just how exactly is any of this under control, Emma? Because one of them is currently hacking into my car's comm. That's where those anomalies are coming from. You sound suspiciously calm about that. This isn't my first day, Tom. I'm not in the car. It's a decoy. But it does have an active beacon that's calling Albion down right on top of them as we speak. I'll have one of them in custody within an hour. That was me disconnecting this time. You had better run. I have Malik for you. I'm going underground. I can't risk direct contact anymore. Hello? Did you hear her? She's sizing you up for a body bag. That not clear enough for you? I did hear her. She knows I'm working with you, which means she's closer than I thought. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. Goodbye. Dickhead. Fuck him. We know who's behind Zero Day now. We don't need him. We just have to find her. As it happens, when I was getting intimate with the MI6 server, I came across a list of SIRS safe houses scattered throughout the city. There are quite a few, though. Yeah, but we have that data on child supporters, don't we? Bagley can cross-reference their GPS signals to that list. See where they've been. Brilliant. Prioritize them by likelihood, Bags. Let's get this bitch. <laughs> 